No, I don't think it's wise to talk about CMS before there's any content strategy in place. In addition, there are other things you should have in place as well before you talk content strategy, or before you talk about selecting a CMS. You could say, you could expand on the topic of strategy, and you can say digital strategy, goals, and vision. You could also say there's a lot of tasks around content that you should think about that's a part of content strategy. You could also say there are some elements around design that you should think of. In general, what I see, what seems to be missing at the moment is this idea of what's the tasks I really want my website visitors to do on the website. But unfortunately, many organizations look at the tool first and still technology take up quite a lot of these projects. Many customers don't yet really know what they want. So they will go out, look for a CMS as the engine behind the website, even if it's the first time they do it, second or third time they do it. Unfortunately, many organizations don't have enough staff on their site to get the most benefits out of the CMS. On top of that, you can add it's an immature marketplace. There are still cowboys out there from agencies and vendors and uh, there is rarely any connection or very little connection between price and quality. So what customers really buy into, so to speak, when they select a for free open source is the community and the idea that there are modules built by people around the world, some of them working with big companies, some of them perhaps doing it as a hobby. So I think the main benefit here is that unlike for commercial vendors, there is a vibrant community of people around the world. Naturally, what many organizations also look at is the price. And uh, so while you can get commercial support for open source systems, that's typically not very cheap. They look at the license price where open source is free, most of the time at least. And so that's how it gets started.